harvesting energy to power technology typically has to be done this way. But researchers from the University of California, San Diego have managed to cut the amount of physical activity down dramatically. They've developed a wearable device that can actually produce power while you sleep. The power harvested from one finger can reach from 20 up to 40 microwatt. Basically, that means that the energy harvested from one night's sleep can power a wristwatch for almost a day. Uh, and that's only the energy from one finger. The invention makes use of something we think little about, the sweat from our fingertips. The device's carbon foam electrodes absorb the sweat. Enzymes trigger a chemical reaction between lactate and oxygen molecules to produce electricity. That raises the question, why not place the device under our armpits? We think we have more sweat uh, in feet, under the armpit, on the forehead, but uh, that's more because that the ventilation uh, is not as well at those places. So the sweat is not easily evaporated as well as from, uh, say, the more exposed places like your hand. Basically, the sweat coming off of the fingertip leaves fingerprints. And actually, this is a result of evolution that our finger have more sweat glands. So basically, it generates more fuel compared to other locations on the body. I asked the researchers whether their device could actually power a cell phone. They said no, that still requires too much power. But there are other ways of generating more power that are as simple as tapping your fingers. The pressing motion of the finger can introduce extra convection, which would instantaneously increase the power output of the device, almost twice as much energy from the pressing. Our team have been trying to put it on the finger while just doing desk work, so typing, uh, clicking mouse, or just playing with their cell phones. And the device can continuously operate regardless. The immediate goal is to power wearable sensors. But Lou says the grand vision is to do what wind and solar have done, create a self-powered renewable system, though this wouldn't work just by breaking a sweat. Mark New, CGTN, San Francisco.